Piero della Francesca, 1420-1492, was an Italian painter who lived during the early Renaissance. Unfortunately, he did not paint many frescoes and paintings, the reason being early problems with his eyesight. Reasoning that health is more expensive Piero della Francesca decided not to paint any more, focusing on the exact sciences, in particular, mathematics. Love for this science was reflected in his work it is very original and original, his paintings are characterized by a beautifully constructed composition, for the sake of it Francesca was ready to sacrifice even some extremely important details, even if later such an approach caused bewilderment among viewers and art historians. One of the most famous and unusual frescoes Francesca, The Resurrection of Christ. The subject is quite standard for painting of that time Jesus Christ rose from the dead and it is this intimate moment, one of the most important in Christianity, is depicted on the fresco. But the main thing is in the details, which were very advanced and innovative for that time. Christ stands proudly on the stone sarcophagus where he was buried, a true triumph of true faith and the power of the Son of God over death. The guards assigned to guard the sarcophagus are asleep and do not notice anything around them, perhaps this was God's will, and it was no accident that they fell into such a deep sleep. However, if you look closely at the fresco, you will notice that the feet of the second guard on the right are not visible, as if the artist had forgotten to draw them. Did Francesca allow such a blatant negligence? It is impossible. He was a talented and conscientious artist. And on the inattention of the spectators, too, you cannot sin, there really are not there, but cannot work as a guardian legless invalid, so Francesca wrote so deliberately, and there were good reasons for it. We will discuss why he did not paint the legs of the guard on his fresco. But first, subscribe to the channel and like this video. There are a lot of hidden meanings and symbols in the mural. For example, the trees on the right with leaves and clearly alive, on the left without leaves and it is clear that the leaves have fallen not because of the approaching winter. This symbolizes the transition from death to life. Christ, having risen from the dead, has conquered death, bringing with him renewal and the hope of new life. The figure of Christ in the center divides the fresco into two parts, the realm of death and life, is central and it is around it that the whole composition is built. The figures of the guards are somewhat unusual, two of them lean to the left and two to the right, making room for Christ's passage. There is a division into two parts, not only vertically, but also horizontally, by the line of the sarcophagus. The horizon line is very low, just to the eyes of the guard on the left, that is why we look at them as if from below upwards, we can even see the nostrils of the guard, but we cannot see what is in the sarcophagus. But Jesus Christ looks at us directly as it is accepted on all icons and frescoes, that is there is one more horizon line, this time at the level of Jesus Christ's eyes. This allows to create the effect that the Son of God descends from the fresco into our world, on the reproduction it is not so noticeable, but those who were lucky enough to see this wonderful fresco in person, said that it is something inexpressible. So, Francesca's mathematical talents just manifested themselves in the precise construction of such a complex and impressive composition. It was for the sake of this effect that the artist removed the extra two legs of the guard, reasoning that they interfered with the perception too many small distracting details were at the bottom of the fresco, creating confusion, they would draw attention away from the central figure of Jesus Christ, which is the main one. If you have watched this video to the end do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click like.